With a title like Robot Chicken, you can expect an unconventional cast of characters. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 original Robot Chicken characters. Who are you? I am Skater McGee, the best skateboarder in all of Western Ohio. For this list, we're taking a look at the most memorable characters from the twisted minds behind this long-running animated series. <laughs> and then what happened? Number 10, The Six Million Peso Man. Pablo Rodriguez was just your ordinary Mexican test pilot until his donkey crashed into a cactus. Pablo Rodriguez, test pilot. In this hysterical parody of the Six Million Dollar Man and the Bionic Woman. We can rebuild him. We have the technology. Rodriguez is rebuilt through advanced technology to become the six million peso man. This superhuman will utilize his newfound extraordinary abilities to leap over the US-Mexico border and sell oranges on a street corner. I I'll take some oranges, amigo. Talk about throwing away 283 big ones. Regardless, you can't put a price on an excelente character like this. There's 283 American dollars we won't see again. Number nine, the humping robot. Can't believe it's so cool. Now go find us something to hump. The humping robot is one of the most iconic robot chicken characters, and also one of the most simplistic. In one of his most memorable appearances, all this robot does is gratuitously hump a washing machine. It's hard to say what the writers were thinking when they came up with that sketch, but the result was comedic gold. <laughs> Since then, this sex machine has humped everything from jukeboxes to church bells to slot machines. Who knows what inanimate object he'll hit the jackpot with next? No matter where he's seeking love, though, the humping robot will never cease to make us laugh. Hump like me. Number eight, Dr. Fumbles, also known as Calvin. I'd like to introduce you to our newest member, Calvin. Welcome to the team, Calvin. When it comes to G.I. Joe, you can pretty much judge every soldier based on his or her code name. That is, everybody except for Dr. Fumbles. On his first day, this sniper has a slip up and is branded with an embarrassing nickname. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like someone had an accident. Oh, way to go, Fumbles. Fumbles, that's perfect. Subsequently, Dr. Fumbles turns to the dark side and does something no Cobra member could ever pull off on the cartoon show, execute a mass assassination. <laughs> Fumble. Who would have thought that actual bullets would be so effective in combat? Wind 3.8 miles southwest, mark velocity 7.8 kilometers per hour. Whether you call him Fumbles, Trouser Snake, or Calvin. Those are some fancy trousers you're wearing. I shall call you Trouser Snake. This is one Joe we all want in our corner of the toy chest. Great job, uh, Trouser Snake. It's Fumbles. It was always Fumbles. Number seven, Bloopers host. Is everyone ready for more of those hilarious bloopers? Nobody loves a good gag reel more than this guy. As the host of the Blooper Show, this eccentric TV personality brings his audience blunders from classic TV shows, yeah! home movies, y'all recording? Here we go! What? Oh yeah! And even his own life. Go, Daddy! Go! Her first name is Boyd Dillweed. It's like America's Funniest Home Videos, except with more physical violence. More charismatic than Regis Philbin, and with cornier jokes than Jay Leno. Who let the dogs out? It's time to raise the woof! The bloopers host may seem like a happy-go-lucky fellow. Underneath his light-hearted surface, however, he's a surprisingly dark, disturbed soul. Well, unfortunately, those hilarious clips have to be licensed, which costs money, which is in short supply since our CPA liquidated our assets in Blue Town to go feast on Thai schoolboys. That's probably why he closes out almost every episode by attempting suicide. Number six, Daniel. 
also known as Gyro Robo. So, I hear your name is Gyro Robo. Correct. That is very not vain. In an age where everybody has a webcam, the internet is overrun with nitpicking trolls that take themselves and 80s nostalgia way too seriously. Also, Cop Tur was only his lame American name. When the character was originated in Japan in 1981, Cop Tur's name was Gyro Robo. Daniel, or Gyro Robo as he prefers to be called, is always there to call people out when they make a mistake. Even the robot chicken writers aren't safe from his criticism. I viewed your recent GoBot sketch with an utter lack of mirth and an abundance of extreme displeasure. Sporting a green hat and a meatwad t-shirt, this chubby nerd rarely explores the world beyond his computer desktop. Get out of here, Munson! I'm doing my show! Oh yeah, what's it called again? Gay news for homos about penis no, who love dick and are afraid of vagina? Of course, he does occasionally get out of his mother's house just long enough for a bully to shove him in a locker. Where'd I leave that nerd? <laughs> oh, thank you, sir. It's very tight in there. Aw, not that nerd. Number five, Unicorn. Come with me. Let's have fun adventures together. You don't have to ask me twice. Unicorns are truly magical creatures, full of rainbows, sunshine, and mayonnaise. Polish my magic horn. OK. At least we hope that's only mayonnaise. If you polish a unicorn horn long enough, it gives you magical unicorn mayonnaise. Actually, unicorns are just flat out perverts in the robot chicken universe. Come and get your clothes. If you can. If this particular unicorn shows up outside your window, run. If he asks you to take your clothes off and polish his horn, call the cops. Know what's also fun? Licking the spark. All this horny horse wants to do is get into your pants. This is the best LARP ever! Later, I'll show you how to cross swords. Or your boyfriend's pants. Say, who's this? Oh, that's just my boyfriend, Charlie. <laughs> he looks fun. Uh, yeah, I guess. You'll never look at these mystical beings the same way again once you've caught this predator in the act. I hope you know that this will go down on your permanent record. You can't tell my parents. Number four, Molar, Eternian Dentist. You missed your 1015 appointment. One of the things fans love about Robot Chicken is how it explores facets of fictional worlds we never considered before. I'm a talking skull. What do I care if... Uh, you know what? The hell with this. For example, what's dentistry like in Eternia? Molar, Eternian dentist, comes with everything you see here. The muscular Molar is the most daring dentist in all the land. Equipped with floss... Hey! I'm all out of mint flavor. ...and a drill at all times. Ah! Molar is always ready to tackle bad guys and bad dental hygiene. Beastman got the dental floss, and I got the... Drill in my eye. Even when his patients don't want his assistance, nothing can stop him from pulling their rotten teeth. Success! Oh, you son of a bitch! Molar truly has the power, not to mention a totally epic origin story. Molarstein was just an average citizen until one fateful day. The day he took his SATs! Number three. Bitch Puddin'. Mm, that's not what I heard. Oh, shut up, Bitch Pudding! Of all the fan favorites on Robot Chicken, Bitch Puddin' is one of the only characters to attain her very own special episode. <laughs> Voiced by Katie Sackhoff, this temperamental, sassy, mean-spirited girl wouldn't exactly make the ideal doll for your young daughter. Hello, Bitch Pudding. What's up, hoes? Us adults wouldn't mind having one, however. Bitch Puddin' is who she is with zero reservations. That's why we love her, and why the rest of Pastryville hates her. I remember how much she loved baking sugar cookies. <sighs> but most of all, I remember her rank ass old lady fart. <gasps> of course, it's not like Strawberry Shortcake and her friends are angels either, seeing as how they tried to murder Bitch Puddin'. Volcano fried Bitch Pudding on a stick. I hate you, Bitch Puddin'. <laughs> You better believe she gets her revenge in badass fashion, though. One, two, three! <laughs> Blam. <laughs> Number two, the aliens. No! Oh! 
Oh my god! I just want to borrow a cup of sugar! There very well could be other life forms beyond our world. That doesn't necessarily mean they're intelligent life forms, however. We needed the sugar because we're baking a cake for a fancy party! The robot chicken aliens are able to pilot flying saucers and develop a supersuit. Hey kid! We forgot to include the instruction manual! They also happen to be completely incompetent in their various endeavors. Whether abducting Michael Jackson, I was kidnapped by aliens over 15 years ago, or trying to steal a child's PlayStation 3. We have come for your PlayStation 3! We desire the next generation of entertainment! The results are bound to be as disastrous as they are hilarious when these zany guys are involved. <laughs> You can also count on one of them letting their frustration out through a series of screams. Oh, damn it, damn it, damn it! Years of planning ruined! Before we change the channel to our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Ho, ho, ho! I've got five good reasons for you to shut up! One, two, three, four, five! I will conjure a demon with my magical drum! <laughs> Who is this little girl? Oh, Lord Vader! Uh, it's Take Your Daughter to Work Day, and I know, uh, you know, I'm sorry for bringing her, but, you know, my wife says I never see her, and, and let's be honest, she's right! It's no big deal. It's probably not even quicksand. <laughs> I'm gonna have a good laugh about this tonight with the guys. <laughs> wild Man! Are you ready to get wild? Yeah! I can't hear you! Yeah! Then I'll meet you at the public pool! Number one, the nerd. The alien invaders, I mean you no harm. Parlez-nous anglais. Voiced by robot chicken co-creator Seth Green to geeky perfection, this four-eyed dweeb is the epitome of a stereotypical nerd. Yeah, My studies. Oh, these are brand new. Slam! Ha! That's for, uh... Ah, nerd! With a love of unicorns. Oh my gosh, they do exist. Tauntauns. See, I'm a Tauntaun. And Scarlett Johansson. Do you ever play The Sims? I made a Scarlett Johansson sim and she lived in my house and sometimes we went in the hot tub together, but I forgot to buy a fire extinguisher, so there was a grease fire in the kitchen and Scarlett died. The nerd spends much of his time daydreaming. Every once in a while, though, he'll really get swept away on an adventure and his family Fantasy will become a reality. Of course, they don't always play out as he imagined. I'm not really Scarlett Johansson. I, I was just a professional Scarlett Johansson impersonator. No matter what the scenario, though, the nerd is one robot chicken character we always look forward to seeing and listening to. Actually, we wish we could meet him in real life. That would be so cool. That would be so cool. Do you agree with our list? I agree. Who's your favorite robot chicken character? Hey, Charlie! Ah! I could have sworn I tied a sock on the door, Tracy. For more entertaining top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Yep, be a good buddy, the bloopers host. You might say, time is up.